Hi everyone, in this video I would like to explain the aggregate function. So if we type aggregate, uh, we get uh, instructions that are very meager. Um, but the first element should be the variable that you're interested in. Now actually you don't, you can specify the data frame later on, so you can just type the variable. Then we use a tilde, uh, and then we specify the variable on which we want to calculate something per group. Yeah? Then we specify the data in which the variables can be found. And then we specify the function, which in our case is the mean. Now if I do this, I see per education group, so this is the lowest group, people have on average 2.4 children. Yeah, in the second group they have 1.4 children, and then in the third group they have 1.1 1. Uh, 1 children. Yeah? Now I can do this also with other functions and see how much they vary. Right? So also the number of kids in the first education group actually varies more than the number of kids in the last education group. Now I think a neat thing about the aggregate function that it is very general and you can do very many things with it. So what you could also do is say, I don't only want to know on the education level, but I also want to know on the, uh, on the, the, uh, the gender. Yeah. Or maybe it makes more sense on the, the income level. Yeah, so what I need to do then I need to use the comma instead of the tilde, and I need to create a list of the variables that I want to uh, compare the means with. Um, oh, I do need to specify it here. I don't know why it's the case, but. Yes, okay, so now I have the, the group. So apparently here the data uh, does not work, uh, but you need to specify the list and you need to specify that the variable comes from a certain data set. Now let's see how we should interpret the output. Well, as you can see here, group one is our education level. So there's three levels, one, two, three. And then group two, this is the first level of the income uh, level. So as you can see, uh, the groups uh, they well they do differ but then the group uh, education level one with income level one and group three with education uh, income level one they are very similar now if we look at the uh, last uh, uh, income level yeah, so we don't really have people with an education level of three we only have them with one and two and we see indeed uh, that uh, the income level or the, the number of kids in uh, on average uh, with people with an education level of 1 and an income level of 10 is 2 and those who have an uh, income uh, education level of 2 and income level of 10 they have on average 2.5 children 